time for another swim workout. Garmin Vivo Move Style, Apple Watch, Aura Ring, Aura Ring 2, Withings, and Amazon Halo View. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful day to be a swimmer. Pretty cool when you join the master swim team they give you workouts for free and they even give you coaching well and that's another swim workout finish garmin was good apple was good withings ah, this is the third time i've swam with it and it's just kind of okay that music the background that's not owned by me water aerobics team the amazon halo view i don't know i'll have to synchronize it and see the stats and we're back in the studio. Got out of the shower. Always wash that chlorine off. I, I've done this so many times, probably over a hundred times, where I go swimming, I just jump in the shower, just like rinse off at the gym, and then never fully, fully rinse off and wash off that chlorine with soap and water. And that is just no good. No good at all. Anyway, uh, there's my tip. And then if you have really blonde hair, after, I don't know, like if you're swimming two hours a day in the pool, your hair will turn a slight green tint. I had blonder hair when I was younger and there was a slight green tint. Anyway, so that is true. It's not just some weird swimmer's tail. So I'm gonna shave and then I'm gonna show you all the stats of the watches. So we wore six gadgets today. Hopefully that's not too many. I, I don't know. You know, just give me feedback. Three or four or sometimes seven gadget videos are a bit too much. Then let me know. Otherwise, I'll just keep on making them. I think six is probably the most I should ever do because, well, that's just a lot. Oh, I have that Loom Cube, but I left it in the car. That's why the lighting's maybe not so good. I guess I could turn on this one. So my friend Joseph said to always do the rule of three. So you have one light behind you. There we go, that's a little better. And then you also put another light so you can bounce lights off the wall and then you put a light directly behind you. So if I was talking, I'd want this one bouncing off the wall. There we go, or off my door. And then this one right here would go right behind me and then you kind of have to position it just right and then it gives you this kind of 3D look, and then the person talking. So right now I kind of have a halo. <laughs> so 
right about there should be good. Never have direct over light. So there's the light in my room. Yeah, that just creates the shadow. No, that's just bad. That's better. Thanks, uh, Joseph. Okay, let's, uh, enough of the lighting thing. I'll do more of that as I do some more studying. I'm taking an, an online course and I'm getting feedback from my photographer friend, Joseph. Look him up, great photographer. I'll link his YouTube channel in the description below. He's been a huge asset as much as the Cartoon Fortress has. David, oh wait, he changed his channel name. Time to shave and then we'll look at the stats. The swimming was great. I highly recommend aquatic therapy. Well, wasn't that fun watching me shave in time-lapse? So I like Harry's razors the best. I was gonna use the Dollar Shave Club, but I found that they're not as good. I don't like their blades as much. I only have four left. I canceled my subscription over a year ago. And they're okay. I just, I like Harry's. Yeah. Anyway, harrys.com. They're not a sponsor, but I like their blades. And then I just go for old school aftershave. After Original Aftershave Skin Conditioner by Menon. And I use quite a bit of aftershave, especially after swimming. Because my skin gets so dry. Kind of weird. I've never had my hair this long before. I've never had it get in the way of me shaving. That's That's new. I've had it. I had my bangs down to here once, that was years ago, and they're almost getting there. Yeah, so another, what is that, another month, two months? Let's get dressed. It'll take right about. All right, audio test. Um, wave. Mic check, check one, check two. Audio test, one, two, three, five. And just like that, undressed, shaved, hair a little longer. That uh, workout was just, just a few days ago. So now let's take a look at the data. In the pool, I was wearing the Oura Ring Gen 2 and Gen 3, the Apple Watch, the Garmin VivaMove Style, which I got rid of, sorry. I still have the Scan Watch and I still have the Halo View. So for the Halo View, it's a unique little device, very comfortable to wear when swimming, I might add. The screen locks, it's very aqua, dy aqua? Aqua, dynam aqua dynamic. It moves smoothly through the water, and when it's on your wrist, it's just nice. Let me show you the stats of that one. For such a small device, it's actually, you know, very detailed. So right here, we have 18 points. That was, those were my stats from the swim, and then we have heart rate. You can't click on the graph. Total duration, okay. Intensity, moderate activity, light activity, no steps while swimming, eh, oh well. And health benefits. Swimming provides low impact training for heart, health, strength, and endurance. Oh, thanks. And then if I go back, this was you know, like my whole day view back on that day, January 13th of this year. So intensity points, moderate. So again, it's not really the quantity of your workout or the steps it's all about the intensity and what your heart's doing so kind of cool how they measure that next on the docket so for the vivo move style we're on garmin's website garmin, garmin connect. connect there's the pool swim there's the pool activity really great details there's my watch that i was wearing right there total distance max heart rate number of total strokes nutrition and hydration, calories burned, elapsed time, fluid net, fluid consumed, all that information, really good, really, really useful. And then right here, I can look at heart rate versus distance. I can do customized charts. Okay, well, not really. And then we have laps. So it actually tracks the amount of laps, but for some reason, this did not really do much for the labs. A lot of other garments will actually tell you what strokes you did and more. For example, 
if I go to the dashboard for today, I actually did another swim workout just this morning. So, so there's, there's the length, length distance, distance, freestyle, freestyle, breaststroke. breaststroke. Yep, yep, backstroke. This is pretty much spot on. And then I did another interval, more breaststroke, freestyle, and so on. And then it gives you the totals, all that information, very detailed. Okay, okay so, so here's, here's the Oura Ring Gen 2. And basically, we have our resting heart rate, lowest heart rate. Uh, I have the activity score for that day, and that's about it. There were no real details on swimming because it didn't recognize it. But it does give me calorie points and the steps for the day. And then basically, the Oura Ring Gen 3 is about the same. We'll switch to that account. You know, sometimes you just gotta be really patient with these websites because they're they're thinking. Okay, January. Oh, they're okay, nope, oh, still nope, thinking. Still thinking. <laughs> and the thirteenth. So we have the lowest heart rate for the day. Total sleep. It is early 2022. It's today is the 12th of March 2022. So Aura is a little behind in the game. So Aura Ring, either the Gen 2 or the Gen 3, not giving you a lot of information, but some. So now let's take a look at the Scan Watch. So Scan Watch is pretty basic. It basically had my duration of only 16 minutes, steps zero, calories 108, heart rate 114, and that that's it. Pretty basic when it comes to an advanced sport of swimming but did have the heart rate but no like zones or anything so really lacking on withings really lacking and then we have the apple watch so to view your workouts on the apple watch basically you open up the little fitness app click on the fitness wheel shows you all that info go back go to workouts show more and then you just Scroll on down and then you look for the date, January 13th. There we go, yoga and pool swim. So we have total time, completeness of goal, where I worked out, breaststroke 25 meters, freestyle 375, total distance, total calories, number of laps, pace. Right here I can do the splits and it shows me all my splits per 100, freestyle 100 and so on. I have my heart rate, a little bit, a few gaps here and there. And for some reason it shows humidity, 81% in the pool and my heart rate recovery. So really good on the Apple Watch. If you compare the Apple Watch to the Scan Watch, now this is the Vivo Move HR, not the Vivo Move style, but we'll use it as a stand-in. So we have Garmin Tech, Apple Tech, Scan Watch Tech. We have Amazon Halo. And then we also have these fancy smart rings by Aura. Out of all these gadgets, <laughs> which one is the best to wear for swimming? Well, scan watch, very comfortable. I'll give it that, but the data is lacking. Apple watch, oh, nice little animation there, right on time. The Apple watch is comfortable, but they are kind of pricey. Although I did see them on sale at Costco the day for 300, which is pretty much the same price as the scan watch. 30 day battery, one day battery. Via move, move. these, uh, even the new style, you can pick up for around 200. This is 60 bucks, but you have to subscribe. It comes with a one year subscription, subscription for free. So that's nice. The Aura Rings were supposed to, not this one, we'll take away the, this one will just give you steps, while swimming, nothing else, the Gen 3, the Gen 2, they look so alike. The Gen 3 is going to track workouts soon. And that's about all I can tell you. Which one would I recommend for swimming? To be honest, I really like the Phoenix 7X, which I didn't have back then when I did the test. I love the workout details that it has. It is a little bulkier on the wrist when you're swimming through the water but it has so many statistics for working out. Yeah. The other good one that I really recommend, which was not part of that video, sorry, is the Samsung Galaxy Watch. It has really great details on the swim. Even though that's not part of the video, I'm just gonna show you anyway. We just open up Samsung on the screen here, go to the main page, and then you wanna go to 
exercise, view history. There's the swimming workout. So we have heart rate, max zones, split summary. I can view the lengths. It shows me all the lengths of the pool, which is really, really nice. Crawl stroke, breast stroke. And when I compare it to Garmin, the stats are, are spot on. It's quite accurate. And then you can actually see your heart rate while you're swimming, which is nice. And then it has the S Wolf, which is very detailed. Total distance, workout calories, total strokes, the pool length, which is customizable, the type of workout, whether it's open pool or closed pool, max heart rate, average heart rate, etc., etc. Now, one thing I really like about Samsung, and I didn't swim with it today, so I apologize for the confusion, it's really detailed. Samsung, Apple, and Garmin, they're all great. It's just that the Vivo Move style, for one reason or another, doesn't capture the amount of detail that newer Garmin's do. Well, not just newer ones. Even if you had the Vivo Active 3 from a couple of years ago, it captures a lot of detail. Well, that's my swimming vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And pithy comments, type those down below. And yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. And I will see you again, oh, I don't know, sometime in the next 88 hours. And we'll just end the video with these three gadgets that were actually from the beginning of the video. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.